Hey everybody, uh, we're, for part two we're going to be starting out with the fight that I missed between Teal and Dark Green in the beginning, The uh, what I told you about earlier. We're going to go ahead and see how this one plays out. Now I did mention, as you can see, two cannon towers right here. We'll be stopping the demolishers from attacking the weaker units here. You can see they're all in a hold position line right here. No one's moving to engage, even the uh, outriders haven't moved in yet. We're going to see the heroes begin to reinforce with the units that were used to creep Triangle Stranglethorn. But most importantly, notice that the Demolishers are forced to deal with the Cannon Towers. The Cannon Towers are getting in a lot of damage here. And this, this Concave, man, this Concave is keeping units from bunching up too much on that Theridon. Uh, basically making sure that no AoE is going to wipe out one whole portion of his map, spreading as much damage as he can. And with the sheer number of slow poisons and magic damage coming from his Priests and Spearmen, we are in good shape. Now, Kha'Zix does manage to suck up and dispel a bunch of stuff there, but uh, not looking good for Teal at the moment. You can see there's still start... Uh, the Demolishers have been stuck on Darkshire now, which it's always unfortunate to lose Darkshire, and I would love to see some of those spawns being used out of there. I'm not actually seeing any of them being made. The spawns could be created and focused on the Demolishers right now. Teal continuing to reinforce the few units from Outland... And uh, now we can see that just tons of marshals coming out here. They're going to be the tank force that allows this army to survive. And while it looks like, uh, indeed, Dark Green did lose down in the south here, the rest of his line is holding strong and no real damage is being done. Meanwhile, Teal, as we mentioned, just getting absolutely mollywhomped by Yellow. Yellow activating all of his Avatar and Thanes. Again, I do recommend using them one at a time. One Avatar mode, one taunt then rinse repeat on all six of your thanes and really force him to micro down and it's especially effective if teal is attacking dark green at the same time that he's attacking that you're attacking him because he doesn't have the uh doesn't have the uh, apm to deal with it very few players have the apm to deal with that much going on at the same time he's got to make sure he's using all his heroes positioning his siege correctly not getting killed and unfortunately there goes kazik and Bolvar staying just alive. Him and Barry Rin basically acting as a uh, harassment force down here in the south. Ooh, it's brutal! A very good strategy from Dark Green. And wow, really, it's, Teal's actually focusing down this. I'd be hitting the clergyman. No offense, just a few volleys from that could have wiped out a dozen or so priests. He might get out of there with Kha'Zix. He does get out of there with Kha'Zix. I think we'd seen that earlier in the game last time. And oh, there's the jumping around because frames per second. Just can't handle it. And that's the fight that we missed. Forward. I'll we'll watch the rest of the game. Thank you guys. Uh, thank you guys. Like I'm ending the video. Again, yes, use you. Again. Why do you build Dwarven Engineers and then not use Dwarven Engineers? I get the, the dispel. Great. Awesome. Lock down the towers, for God's sake. We also missed the, missed the final apocalyptic fight here as Dark Green and Yellow charged into Outland back there and trying to hold the wall. And again, that splash damage, invaluable, but a really well used... I gotta say, Magni has been really well used. You very rarely see Healing Spray used to such good effect here. But Teal does have kind of a key on the army here. He knows that he needs to be firing at the ranged units. And you can see just how many are blowing. Oh, the damage is insane. More so than even on the front lines, even dropping a stasis trap that could go off here in a second if no one focuses it down. Kind of hard to see in the insanity of... And... Bling! And it gets the other stasis trap, unfortunately. Uh, Should have laid those down earlier on. And again, always better lay the stasis trap in a retreating line away from the battle. And then, if you have all your units in control groups and not a mass, you should be quite good. Another stasis. This is good use by Teal. I gotta say, he put up a much better fight than I would have expected. Kha'Zix Supreme might not get out of here, though. Sort of been left behind. Sometimes people forget about him. Ooh, and I think that's the last we saw. That's all she wrote, guys. See you in the, uh, see you in the proper beginning for part three. And here we are, guys. Right back where we left off. And no doubt you've been wondering what's going to happen. Dwarven Warriors are 3 2. And I thing I didn't mention before is the fact that Yellow's fortifying this position immediately with Dwarven Keep Towers. And instead of going for the Airy Peak, which is usually my preference, he's decided to go Dark Iron Dwarves, getting himself Emperor Dagron Thorassian. Uh, Thorassian, whatever his name is, who is very effective at AoE. Uh, for those of you who don't know, he has the Drunken Haze ability and the ability to summon Fire Elementals, which then perform the flaming breath attack so it's a little bit of a roundabout way of getting there but very effective at the end of the day blues pointing out a control point that was missed maybe even a couple creeps that weren't picked up the first time around no pretty much everything's been crept in northern just that one little spot and how did he do down in a jolnarub actually did not pick up queen jazaret could still possess her actually 
as it works on creeps below level six. But if they can get the dip, who has the book? Okay, Arthas Menethil has the book and really needs to use it. He needs to get somewhere safe, get the Legion out, because the risk of losing the book right now is not worth it. There's no reason to continue to fight. In fact, just let Green and deal with the South Alliance because, I mean, they don't know it, but they have to assume that the Frost Wolf is going to be attacking soon. Now, uh, the Mass Alliance over in Kalimdor should see that the control points have begun to shift, not in favor of the evil, but instead in favor of the South Alliance. But so few people want to attack a strong South Alliance. But uh, there's plenty of creeps down here. Actually, a wonderful base. They could pick up the Goblin Shredder and Ratso Steam Weedle. We'll see what they choose to do. Yellow's going to be a bit slow moving across. He doesn't want to rush in anything and get killed, but he does have this entrance. First, he's going to consolidate all of his gains. Or he's actually going to move out half and half, maybe try to attack from here, draw them out, and then flank around. That would be not a bad idea. Red has retreated back into Skullamance. Or he TP'd out like... Yes! Oh, we have a smart red. Oh, we have a smart red on our hands. Arthas Menethil, use the book. Arth Arthas Menethil, use the book. Arthas Menethil, use it to book! Oh, shit. I think gray just dropped. So now it's pink and brown. He's like, Brown, come to Kalimdor, let's kill Gray, get all of his stuff, take the control points back. Man, this delay... For a mass alliance, they have not moved out of Kalimdor at the 34-minute mark when Light Blue left at, what, 17 minutes? It's kind of rough. Dude, dude, he has so much Mopni. Mopni, look at the amount of Mopni he has. Can I see? 1,200 Mopni. That's pretty rough. That's a lot of wasted Mopni. Avengers? Oh, these are probably just sitting there on auto attack, not actually doing anything. I was trying to figure out what was going on. Unless, no, I mean, Ventry can't be controlling it. He did leave, and Brown isn't allied to him anymore, so that's just auto attacks and stuff going on here. Will they be enough to kill off Gray? Yeah, Gray's gonna kill him fine. Now, Legion Summon. Two minutes for. Arthas, where are you? Alright, he's summoning right on the throne. See, this is the most popular way to do it. But in my opinion, it can be extremely dangerous. Now, it does increase the uh, ease of defending the base. Also make sure that you can see that it slowly kills all units that sit under it, if you're not careful. But the problem with that is, if they do manage to get through, if you do get dropped, both your main bases are in danger. Green's going to continue holding on. Alexandros Mograin looking pretty badass, level 6. Has Yellow moved out yet? Yeah, Yellow did move out, took Skolomance. He's looking very strong. 3-3 three, three upgrades for him, and Dark Green has just arrived on the scene. Did he get the base yet? He did. He killed off all the creeps and stuff. Now, Gal Galen, Galen Trollbane. You guys always make fun of me because I get the names wrong. Oh, all right, he's moving up. He's just using his hero squad right now to scout, following along behind with Spearman, Priest. Nice mix of units, keeping stuff back here. Dwarven Keep Towers are fully garrisoned. And is Red actually going to land here? Has Red decided that Kalimdor is where he's going to go next? There's only a minute 28 left, and oh, we can see there are scans going down there. Pink knows what's going on. What's happening now? Oh, that's okay. That's what I was looking for. Salinas, if you guys are playing with Salinas, make sure that you're aware of the fact that he will hack and cheat the game by teleporting Jaina Proudmore up to this. And when you teleport to these, there's no room to stand, so it just puts her as near as possible, drops her in that little cove. And killed off, uh, killed Jaden. Like a punk, gonna kill off all the extra units sitting in here, and then, now Salinas is still here. Yep, Dark King, I'm glad. Okay, so Dark King did actually report him, and for those of you playing with Salinas, make sure that you do not vote kick him out of your games i have absolutely no patience for players like that salinas once again salinas is the player you should be vote kicking uh and apparently brown thinks it's funny our mass allying player thinks it's funny that a glitch was abused i'm shocked yeah yeah look he's remembering that's exactly what i went through now i don't think green's gonna be able to hold against yellow yellow has a much better composition here much better upgrades and much higher level heroes Alright. What? Alright, someone's refilling somebody's cookie jar, but I don't really give a damn. 
We're in a lag right now. Yellow's not attacking green. Green's bunkered up here. Blue and red decided to retreat to Northrend. But uh, nothing's happening in Calendor for a long time, and in the south, the South Alliance won pretty handily. A few pokes and prods here, and that's dead as shit. Hopefully they have the upgrades that does more damage to medium armor, as that will just tear through the massed archers of green. Those Elven Warriors are not going to last long against the AoE that yellow has available to them. I'm afraid this is going to be brutal when it does happen. Archimonde is out, hopefully he'll head south, go to that goblin merchant and grab Boots and Ring. Boots and Ring! Boots and... Okay, Mr. Archon War has decided that he's gonna go after OJ's fleet. He's doing a decent job! Except for the fact that... Well, he took out the flagship. I'm, I'm glad he took out the flagship. That's... Fuck Orange. Orange is an asshole. And he's just ignoring them now. He's gonna... You can see... You know, you could build battleships, they're much more effective against battleships. Or you can lock them all down. There you go, lock them all down, then they can't shoot or fire anything. Good move. Yellow's got all of his fire tanks in Dalaran at the moment, and still no pressure on Quoth Loss. Looks like indeed Dark Green will end up winning the Sea War here. If he can take out the Alliance Shipyard, he's in great shape. I'm suddenly struck with the need to play Warcraft 2 again. You guys want me to go play some Warcraft 2 again? I should finish up the campaigns. It's tricky. It's it's a weird game, and it doesn't feel quite right-ish. Red's building base is going to be stealing control points in Kalimdor, and deciding to steal the ones that aren't easy for their enemy to get to. Of course, with Brown as Naga, nothing across the sea is... Actually, I take it back. It's going to be very easy. Now, we've got ships here, but I don't know what they're for. Perhaps OJ is hoping that he can clear out this base before anything happens. Probably wants to save his Kirin Tor, if at all possible. I'm guessing still up here... Built a tower. Probably gonna upgrade the tower to kill off the units. Charming. Charming, Salinas, you giant pile of oh shit. I hate you. I hate you with the fiery passion of a thousand suns. It cannot be described. Ooh, demon units finally landing. And where is Archimon at the moment? Go back down to one time speed because it looks like the lull. Oh, he's in a boat. I'm in a boat, motherfucker. I work in the nether storm. Oh, damn! Elon's taking back the few control points that remain at gray and light blue's control. Blue will be landing just on the shores here. Gonna hit gray's units, but gray is gone, and I believe unallied, so they're not actually seeing this. Pink will see this base come up, however. There needs to be builders, workers, something here so that he can reproduce. Eridar summoners, there we go. He needs to start building those uh, towers, unit producing structures, what have you, and be ready for the assault soon. I don't actually know where most of Red's heroes are. They're in boats. Uh, but... E, ooh. Oh, he was making a beachhead first. He's driven Brown back. He has better upgrades than Brown at the moment. Question is, will Blue... And actually, Pink is going to be able to take out this quite easily. And Pink just reproducing grunts one at a time. Hopefully he does not continue that trend. As I don't think even with 4-6 upgrades, he's going to be able to beat what Blue has here. There are the Demon Gates I said that Blue needed to use. Green still just sitting pretty. Massin', massin', massin'. Dragonhog Rider's been built, but surprisingly no air from yellow. This is a very unusual no air strategy here. What is... Warsong Clan is not out. Okay, so Pink is allied to the Warsong Clan and is still using his units. It's strong hero squad, not a bad idea. And now moving south to take out this base. Will he use any of Gray's units? To his advantage. Could be producing. He is making some stuff. But still 2300 gold in the bank for Gray. You should use it. Use it. Oh, sweet Ghibli job. I hope Archimon does a lot of work this game. They kind of got screwed over. He's like, we should attack Northrend now while they're in Kalimdor beating us. Ooh, you are the smartest person I know. Have I ever told you that you are the smartest? Oh, you are. I know I sometimes make you feel like you're not smart, but you are smart. It's a terrible idea. Don't do that. Red has so many things still left. It's just his hero squad there, right? Yeah, hero squad, some abominations, that's all. Blue could find himself facing a more concerted defense here in just a second. With Blade Masters unfortunately getting wiped out, even with the 4-4 upgrades, they're just getting killed one by one. 3-3. Salinas has left the game. Shocking.
Did he kill all the extra? No, he just left the game because Dark Green landed and ruined his last base. And he didn't have any more hissy fits to throw. So he decided to leave. What a poor guy. Now, Archimonde could go for the tree. He's not going to get killed Jaden, but he will get the levels out of it. Which is still good. It's like seven levels. Silliness. Oh, okay. Pink finally mounting a counterattack, but I don't think Blue notices it right now. Or if he does, he just doesn't have the money to respond. He only has 15 gold. That's the problem. He doesn't have the money. Remember, Archimon can retreat across the sea, but not if he gets surrounded by grunts. He's got to be very careful here. Very careful indeed. Okay, okay. Now Pink's starting to try to aim Archimon. Blue, you've got to get Archimon out of... Blue, blue, the surround is coming, blue! No, he's too focused on the enemy heroes! Oh! oh get in the water! Malganus has died, but Red is now here with the save. Gonna pick up the Doomhammer, Gorhal, all the stuff. And is Brown surprised to find that they're here? He's like, what are they doing here? I mean, we were going to their base, but what are they doing here? That's so weird. And this attack is now well underway, and it looks like Green's still holding very well. If he uses... Uh, but those Dragonhawks aren't going to live for long. Okay. Green is holding, but only because these Mortar Teams are not in exactly the right position. That's a good amount of damage there, but there go the Fire Breast wiping out the Elven Warrior lines. He's going to have to hope that Knights and Heroes can hold it, and Alexander's Mograin goes down. Murdering Bronzebeard in a spot of trouble. But nothing I don't, Oh, actually, both his heroes now on the front line in a huge spot of trouble. If I think Magni is definitely going to go down. And if he can't fix this, uh, Magni is... Murden going to go down as well. He's saying, get them out of there right now. You cannot afford to lose your Farseers or any more heroes. Actually, Vol'jin has managed to push Red back. I am shocked. Look at this. Concerted effort from Pink and Gray's units have managed to make this uh, not quite as one-sided as I was expecting it to be. Again, Red does have excellent upgrades, a full Death Knight squad, and good heroes. He can harass and pretty much outlast this army, if not for the fact that Vol'jin has that mana regen aura, which is going to keep those Farseers healing much longer than you would think. And Karen Bloodhoof, very strong hero. Ah, uh, Archimon gets off a cheeky little bit of AoE there and is destroying... He's got to back out. Back out just a little bit. There we are. How goes the fight on yellow side? Green's still holding, but now that the mortar teams are actually able to target the ranged units, they're falling extremely quickly. Nothing can be done here. Dogron, Emperor Dogron Thrasian activates his ultimate, but I don't see what it's doing. Nah, this this is pretty much over for yellow. Uh, I mean... Oh, he got murdered now! It's pretty much over for green. Yellow did lose a hero, and I don't think it was as efficient as he could have possibly been. But at the end of the day, he did a good job. Now, Red and Blue just kind of having a real hard time here dealing with this hero group. What he needs to do is death coil the Farseers one by one. Focus down the healing, get rid of it. But with Blue, oh, that's a good amount of AoE Blue's going to get in there. Still might lose his Demon Gate. He needs to produce at least a few more units from there before it goes down. He's going to wipe out a ton of the supporting units here. And Red just trying to get right in the fight, but a stun from Karen Bloodhoof. No, oh, I think Red actually starting to... Take the fight. Yes, death, death Coil. Death Coil the crap out of you. He's going to get a Farseer. Or he's going for Vol'jin. He wants the items. That's what he sees there. Pink's got to get a ship up there and save Vol'jin. Vol'jin, no! Hey, man. You're going to die, man. It's not going to be a good day. One more stun or... Actually, just doesn't have the mana to do anything about it. Vol'jin... Mm, that's the problem. He just doesn't have the mana. Pink holding on better than I expected, but the Farseers are dying one by one. And, oh, Frostwolf are here with mass Frostwolf summons. Five, seven upgrades. Grappler Lure has left the game? Who could that have possibly been? It was green. It's green. Green realizing they broke me. They broke me hard. They broke me fast. They broke me long. Or they broke me wrong time. Oh, Blade Masters all in Viz trying to go for Arkham on there. And Red forced to back out now that he's faced with the summoned Spirit Wolves. But he's got some of his Necromancers coming in. They've got Adept level. They can summon dead bodies. He should be using a lot of Necromancers. Oh, so many units sitting there unused. Just hanging out in Ashen Vale Forest. Now, the bonus side of this is that Arthas is leveling. If he can get Lich King and Archimon out on the field at the same time, this becomes an entirely different game. But, oh, the gray units are going to do a lot of damage before Archimon manages to take him out, even with that AoE. Pink still reinforcing. Dude, Pink is doing so much work. Brown, where are you? You're kidding me, right? He's telling his ally to take Quelthalos. <laughs> Pink's like, I 
am busy. Brown, what are you doing? Of, of what use are you? He's using his units to kill while this is all going on, and he could probably aim Archimon with his Naga. He's just killing off gray structures. Brown is officially my least favorite player in this game. Actually, no. It goes orange, then brown. Abusing glitches, in my opinion, is worse than map hacking, but just barely. And incompetence. I don't know, it's incompetence combined with mass allying versus, versus glitches. What do I choose? What do I hate more, I have to ask myself. And God, fire tanks are so good with the fortified armor and the chaos damage. They basically, uh, you get some engineers on them, overclock those things, and then repair while you're doing it. Oh, you've got a destructive firing line of doom that no one can handle. Okay, some people can handle it. Red's not giving up. More reinforcements here. That's a good move. How? Where? Oh, man. He's got units. He's got structures. But they're so far away from the main fight, and pinks are so close. You can see these mass frostful summons. He need there we go. Perfect response with the destroyers, sucking up the summon units. Oh, don't send it to Azen, then you're terrible. I'm gonna upload it, and I'm gonna not be happy with you. Do the flying units coming in? Saffron's officially here. Oh, oh, with that slow attack, Bulljin is gonna die. There's not much you can do about it. Not with the Death Knights now. Oh, Archimon, push in. Where's Archimon? Running away from Naga and getting slow po- Why did Brown turn away from that? That was a free kill. Keep that slow poison down. And now with Red's reinforcements here, I don't think Pink has what it takes. It's a pretty even fight between the two, at least control point wise. But now with these Frostworms, all those massed ground heavy armor units are officially useless. Fuck Brown do. <laughs> I think he, say, he meant to say two. He's not not a very good ally. I think it's coming down to South Alliance versus Undead here pretty soon. It's gonna be close. Oh god, that magic damage on those Frostworms is tearing apart the Grunts. And he continues to mass Grunts and Shaman. He doesn't have any other answer, but unfortunately with those uh, Destroyers in the air... What do you do? Oh, and that splash from the Frostworms. There's a reason they're limited in this map. Lots of summons coming down right now. But will they just be sucked right back up? He's going right for Vol'jin. Try... Oh, that's over. Suck him up. Just suck up the Frostwolves and you've got this pretty pretty much on lockdown. He closed the Orgrimmar Gate. I've never seen the Orgrimmar Gate actually closed. What? Did he lose Archimon? Is that what happened? I think he lost Archimond, and... Ooh. Did he, though? He must have. Because I'm not seeing a blue unit anywhere. And I'm sure he was pissed off that he didn't get killed Jaden, because... Because Orange glitched. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Dark minions, where are those coming from? Oh, it's the undead. The, un the undead death knights produce them. Okay, Kel'Thuzad now joining the fight. That's gonna be South Alliance versus just a red. Why didn't you tell me? Did, what, what, he's saying, why didn't you tell me you were under attack? Oh, there was only so much. Your ally is under attack. Your ally is under attack. Your ally is under attack. What is he gonna try to aim? Is he gonna go for Arthas Menethil or what? What's he gonna go for? This control. He's got the Blade Masters in the army. 4 4 upgrades will do some damage, but they're gonna be killed off eventually. All they're really killing are skeleton warriors right now and ghouls, and that's that's no bueno for a Blade Master. That's not an honorable fight. Pink is holding, though. And without Archimon there, he, do, he lacks the large scale AoE he needs to finish it off. They're going for Kel'Thuzad! Woo! He's trying to aim Kel'Thuzad right now, but the Blade Masters are dying one by one. I think they'll be too dead by the time this is over to do anything. Yeah, only one left, zero left. And Kel'Thuzad remains alive. Now, when will the South Alliance, who we really should go check on here, just hanging out around Wells of Health. They don't know. They're a little tired. They've had a long day. He's taking the islands. It's like, I will be the king of the islands and no one will dare contest my rule. For I am the king of the islands. He'll, he just repeats it weirdly, strangely, uncomfortably often. He said, I am the king of the islands and you will not... You are, Turns into Arnold Schwarzenegger. Net abilities on Naga Myrmidons could bring Saffron to the ground. Oh, Red's kind of flank. Oh no, there's Archimon. Why did Dark King leave, I wonder? 
Must have lost the connection. Oh, no. All right, Red realizes where the Nagas are going and is trying his very best to keep it from getting aimed. Water is not... That doesn't connect. That's a dead end. He's like, if it's good enough for Manoroth to die, it's good enough for me. They might not actually kill him if Red reinforces properly. Get those flying fucks over there. Ah, actually, he's still fine. AoE combined with slow attack speed of the Naga Myrmidons. Everything's good. Uh, there's the attack here. Oh my god, says Brown. Probably like, that is a strong character. Yeah, maybe if you had brought everything, including your Demi and your hero, you could have done some real damage. But unfortunately, I think you still have Elidin sitting where again? Our warriors have engaged oh, he's just being hunted down by ghouls. How embarrassing. Does he have his flame shield on? Looked like he was doing AoE damage. Certainly the damage is split up enough on these guys to justify that idea. Oh, but then he gets attacked by the- Oh, he aggroed light blue! Alright, Red, how goes the fight down south? He still has- Oh, he's gotta silence that. He's gotta silence that or this fight becomes a slaughter for him. He knows it. He's trying to get the Death Knights in, trying to focus down Vol'jin. Will Pink take the threat seriously? There's a Death Coil. More Death Coils? No, he's got to get those Death Knights out of there. He's losing them one by one. And Kel'Thuzad is, of course, very squishy, even for a level 8. Did he lose the crown, or is it on Arthas now? I don't... I didn't actually pay attention. I think Pink took the crown, actually. That's why he had so many items. Oh, yeah, he's got the Lord on Crown, Scepter of the Queen. Really needs to split that up, uh, give the Scepter of the Queen to Warchief Thrall as they cancel each other out, and you can't use both at the same time. More efficient, he'd be doing a little bit better right now. But man, Red is all over the map, just causing trouble. And Brown, not doing enough to really justify his presence on Kalimdor. That's an excellent stun, and Red's going to start to push him back. That's what he needed. If he can get the Vol'jin... Enough, Red? Is he asking Red if he's had enough? Because I don't think Red's had nearly enough, until, of course, the horrible landing party from South Alliance lands on his shores. Now, uh, they do know blue left. There's no reason to think that he really needs to go do anything with it. Where is... Oh, shit! Alright, well, Archimon got aimed. Not aimed. He wandered straight into Orgrimmar and just died. I'm not calling that an aim. I'm just calling that justice. And as you can see, they're very good. That fortified armor. Brown help. Pink is just in infuriated by this game he's had really unhelpful allies the whole time and he's been playing very well i'll give pink this despite the fact that he mass allied he really hasn't had the advantages of a mass ally only the superficial view of one he's been fighting on his own for most of the game where are you right here brown is very no brown if you send me in a game again do not make it a mass alliance game that is shit Looks like the islands will be claimed by dark green first. Give me gold quick. I don't think green pink has like that much gold to give you. And he's seen no indication that you'll spend it wisely. I think red should continue pushing, honestly. But this is a as determined a defense of a non-existent Orgrimmar as I have ever seen. That is dedication right there. Nice use of the Conjurers. Again, 6-6 six, six upgrades on Dark Green. He really has the advantage, and Pink might be spotting it. Teleporting? To where, I wonder? Our town is being attacked. He's level 10. He's going to get the Eye of Sargeras. That's really unfortunate. Blue would have been super psyched to have managed to get that. And right now, Red's just trying to get ready to face a fight on any front. Is he attacking Brown? Just wipe this out. This is this is the silliest thing. I, Red's being super aggressive with the control point sniping. He is all over the place. Just shutting down their ability to do anything. And again, it seems to be working. But... You know, you could just go in. You have enough units. I guarantee you. You have 6-6 six, six upgrades. You're, you're solid, buddy. Should be using a Stonewall Keep to summon Ogres. I'm just going to be pointing out little things they can do to make their game a bit more efficient. Dude. Give money. God. For me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Brown is my least. Oh, Brown. You are so unpleasant. It's like, don't worry. I'm going to kill the empty transport ships. You're golden. 
Well, Pink's just like, I hate you so much. Pink does have 1,100 gold, though. He should be figuring out uh, probably upgrades for his range units, seeing as they're going to be most effective in bringing down those Frostworms that have been causing so much trouble, resurrecting any heroes that he's missing. I think Karen's still out of fight. Well, there's Misha, and Misha's dead. Or return... <laughs> we'll call him uh, Guenevar, because... That's that's all Misha reminds me of, the fact that she just disappears when it takes too much damage. It's like, oh, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna retreat to the astral plane and heal up for a while. I'll see you in a few days. Later, Drist. A.K.A. Rexar. Are Rexar and Drist kind of the same thing? Like, they threw off the bondage of their heritage, proved that they were good, made a place for themselves out in the real world, became respected despite their heritage. I kind of see a similarity there that I like. Because I like Driss. Actually, to be honest, I like Artemis and Triri and Jarlaxle way more. But I also do like Driss. Nope. Barracks are not going to have time to go up. Pink's going to have to decide whether he defends this base as well. Fred realizing, I don't have to kill you. I just have to drain you slowly while Brown does nothing. Where's Brown? Did he lose all his units, or did he send them up here? <coughs> I think Pink's gonna call it a game. Yeah, Pink, you're very alone. You are getting the short end of the stick here, buddy. But you did have a mass ally and lots of time to upgrade, so I'm not feeling too bad for ya. You do play well, though. I'll give you that. Red very wisely taking all the control points in Northrin back for himself. He's gonna need him. He's all alone, but he has Arthas level 8. If he can get Arthas up to what? Level 12 or level 10, I think it is. I forget which of the two it is. He'll be able to get the Lich King, and the Lich King is a baller. Shot caller, dangerous character. Oh, Yellow, what are you up to? Any transport ships? Nothing yet. I don't see anything across the oceans. Uh, there's Elidin heading to Northrend. Gray's units are running into a lot of abominations, and in fact, Arthas has decided to leave that main fight and come uh, fight over here. Uh, this is tricky, because now with Brown in Orgrimmar, if Brown and Pink move out at the same time, they will kill this. Without the hero squad there, they will kill it. But this is more guaranteed experience for Arthas. He may actually get up to level 9, but he's being a Come on, deal, Arthas! Don't lose him! Apparently Arthas doesn't matter to you. Arthas is a doucheberg. Could have stunned, could have done some AoE damage, could have pulled him back, done something. There's the stun. Got a lot of money too. A lot of mana, I should say rather. He's even got Death Knights there. There was no reason to let Arthas die. He's probably just fighting on multiple fronts and a little confused. I don't know though. I don't know. Losing Arthas is such a bad move. Drazil not going to live for long and Chen Stormstout also caught out. Brown's trying to find a vulnerable place right now. He's not locating it as easily as he was expecting. Oh, uh, Dwarven Worker could be on the way over here to build some, probably, shipyards. And we're going to watch the last... I got way ahead of myself. All right, Arthas is dead. Pink and Brown are locked up in Orgrimmar. We're going to watch the next part of this game in the next part. Thank you for joining me. This has been the one, the only, the as, and I will see you guys soon. And bye!